Hi guys, my name is Yash and today in this video we will see how you can create line particles effect on your website using the Elementor editor. For this tutorial, we will be using the Powerpack Elements add-on for Elementor. So make sure you have the Elementor plugin and the Powerpack Elements installed and activated on your website. Let's see how you can add line particles background effect on your website with Elementor. First of all, open the page where you want to add the line particles background effect using Elementor editor. Once you are in the editor, select the section where you want to add your background effect and click on the edit section button. Then click on the style tab and look for power pack background effects. Click on it and enable the background effects option. Once you do that, you will see an animation type appearing. Change it to line particles and you will see the line particle effects appear in the background. Now let's go ahead and see how you can further customize the line particles effect. You can change the particles and line colors separately to any color of your choice. You can also change the opacity of the color and can enable random opacity as well. If you want to increase the number of particles, you can do that from the quantity option. Further, you can also increase or decrease the size of the particles using the size option. You can use a slider or you can just enter the number for the size of the particles and the size will automatically change to that number. Now coming to the animation, you can change the movement speed of the line particles and lines. Just enter a number or use the slider to change the movement speed. If you want, you can change the direction of the movement of these particles. The default setting is random movement, but if you want your particles to move in a specific direction, you can do that too. Just select the direction you want from the list. Further, you can also add hover effects to your line particles effect. You can make the cursor grab the particles, create a bubble of them and can make them repel. And if you do not want to add a hover effect, you can just leave it to none. And lastly, you get an option to make your background effect responsive. Just click on the toggle button to make the background effect disappear on responsive devices. Once you are done, go ahead and publish the page and see what your particle background effects look like on the front end. Do let me know what do you think of this line particle background effect and if you found this video useful, do drop a like. 